Kings of Leon released When You See Yourself. Uh, and there'll be a little thing in the top corner of the screen where you can watch our news video about this album being released as an NFT. But now we're going to talk about what we thought of the album. Uh, Dan, what did you think? I'm not, like, certain of what I really thought of it. Um, it's not the same Kings of Leon that I remember them being. Years ago, I loved Only by the Night. Uh, that was one of my favourite albums at the time, pretty much. I was really into sort of that indie pop rock kind of vibe that they had at the time. Um, but I think I don't think this album's bad. It's just each song feels pretty much the same. Sort of after you've listened to the verse and the chorus of one song, it kind of just repeats again. And it's just not just the same throughout that one song, it's the same on the next song and then the next song as well. Um, I don't know, I, was, I kind of just found it a bit boring, but I may sort of be biased because my opinion of them has kind of been soured since I saw them live at Reading Festival in 2018. Uh, okay, why, why was that? Well, I was kind of, it was my first time I'd ever seen them live after being a fan of them for a fairly long time. Um, but they just seemed like they didn't care on stage. They sort of just played the songs. There was no crowd interaction. They were a Sunday night headliner, so that's meant to be like a big festival closer kind of thing. And yeah, it was just a bit boring. Well, that's a I, don't if that, I don't know if that's kind of made me sort of go into this album with a preconception of not wanting to enjoy it. But like I said, I, I kind of, I'll need to give it a few more listens, I think. But on upon first listen anyway, it's not really doing much for me. I mean, it's it's not my cup of tea, to be fair. Um, I kind of got a few bits on it. The opening track was an interesting start. Uh, when you see yourself, kind of like self-titled off the album. Um, I I always love in a mix when the bass is higher, which it has in this song. But then I've, I found the song just getting a bit stale, um, not a lot of progression. And then instantly was kind of trying to remind myself that I'm listening to what was kind of like a pop rock act. So for the things that I would usually look for that would intrigue me in music don't apply as much. Um uh, looking at the streams, the band it must have been the main release, I'm guessing. Because uh, I had the most, and it was probably one of the better songs on the album. And I thought Echoing was quite nice with the marching band style snare sections. But I think, like Dan, for the most part, the songs, that they felt a bit stale. Um, very repetitive. And I respect what they've done, especially with the NFT sales and how successful it's been for them and hope more people can learn, take notice and adapt into that, experimenting with that model. But it didn't really do a lot for me, to be fair. I think I probably had the kind of the best reaction to this album. And I, I did quite enjoy it. Um, it's certainly nothing groundbreaking or crazy, but what it felt like to me was with the state that the world is in, it was just an hour of not thinking about anything that's what i took away from this album i just put it on and i didn't didn't think about anything i just listened to it and enjoyed it and had an hour to myself and that was just kind of the impression that it gave me that they were just trying to create something to just enjoy and take you out of the world um, and james said about echoing which i no pun intended i echo that statement because i like that song hey I'll just add something so that my review, because I feel like I've just completely trashed them in my <laughs> piece then. Um, I feel like because I was listening to the album with the intention to review it, I was sort of listening intently and paying attention to it. I reckon if it was on just in the background while I was getting on with something else, I think I'd quite enjoy it because it's, it's quite a relaxed, chilled out album as a whole. Yeah, that's how I listen to it uh, on my first few listens, yeah. It's quite easy listening. What did you think of this album? Leave your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit subscribe so you never miss out on our monthly podcast, reviews, news updates and other videos in the world of alternative music. And thanks for watching.